Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today's Wednesday, so let's watch work on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, September the 6th. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I can't, I still can't believe it's September. Time is just flying this year. Anyways, I got two whips that I've been working on today. <laughs> One I only just barely got to work on, and then kids decided to be kids. And today, June, I know it's not her fault. She's teething her molars. She's getting two down here and two up here at the same time. Um, so it's been a rough day. <laughs> I'm exhausted and it's later in the day. I think it's like probably 6 30 or 7. So I'm exhausted. It's a long day. I'm glad I went to bed time. <laughs> but uh, I did get to work on my last August uh, Halloween Amigurumi, which is the third small ish witch. <laughs> uh, it's the fourth one that I've made because I made myself one either last year or the year before that. I think it was the year before that. I think it was 2021. I don't remember. But anyway, so I did start that today. And I just, I just got the head done. <laughs> and uh, I started working on my shawl a little bit more. So first for the smallish, small smallish witch. That's hard to say. <laughs> uh, it is a free pattern by Amigurumi to go. So I'll link that down below. And it's just cute. I've made um, three already. One a few years ago. And the one I'm making started today is going to look a lot like the one I made a few years ago. So the one I made a few years ago has green skin. <laughs> Uh, black dress, black and white stockings, and a black hat, and black hair. Uh, so this one's gonna look the same way. So I did start its head. <laughs> I just put the eyes in. Uh, so I gotta do the, some body work. Just a little bit more, and this body will be done. Just stuff it, and it'll be done. And then I can make the, um, the dress, the legs, the arms, the sleeves, her hat, and her hair. <laughs> so I got that going, and I'm gonna stitch on a little nose, and probably a little smile at some point. Uh, so this is just Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green. And the black is going to be just Red Heart Black. And the white is just going to be Red Heart White. I got a little scrap ball. I almost out of white. I got to get some more. I have this little scrap ball. I think one more floppy skein. And then I got to get some more. <laughs> Use a lot of white and black when you make amigurumis. It's, it's funny. Those are like some of the two most um, common accessory colors for uh, amigurumis. Especially if you love Halloween. So I'm working on that. I'm getting that going. I'm using a G-hook, which is 4 millimeter. I do have a Christmas <laughs> stitch marker on there. It's one of my favorite ones uh, that I was gifted. I just love it. But uh, So I'm just barely working on that. And then also my shawl. I, I finished the first whole ball in it. And this is a free pattern by Bagaday. It's called the... I think it's called the Twilight After Sunset shawl. And uh, so it is Bagaday. So it's a t video tutorial. And uh, the yarn that I'm putting in it is this yarn. This is yarn that was gifted to me from Esmeralda from God Rocks. I think it's 2107. I always forget the numbers. <laughs> uh, she gifted it to me after, for having June, <laughs> my baby girl. Uh, and the colors are based off of my logo's colors. And, you know, my little icon, wherever it's at. So I'm one of these <laughs> uh, corners. Um, and it's called June. <laughs> the colorway is called June. But she had it dyed through a company called Yarn for the Masses. And if I can remember, I'll link that down below if you want to check it out, if you're curious to get your own yarn or whatever. Uh, but this is Worst Away Acrylic, which I love. <laughs> um, it's my favorite kind of yarn, is Worst Away Acrylic. And it's nice to have some specialty dyed kind that's like that, because normally the specialty dyed yarn is like wool and stuff, and usually smaller. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I did put one whole cake in there, and the cake is 370 yards. So there's already 370 yards in there, and then I did already attach this one. I think just barely. Let me find my... Where I'm at. Okay, here's where I'm at. Where did I attach it at? Oh, I think I already dealt with the ends. Oh, no, no, I didn't. Yeah, so I just attached it like a half a row ago. Right here's where I attached. And I'm down here. <laughs> but anyway, so the body of the shawl is a really pretty design. I like it a lot. It consists of double crochets, chains, and triple crochets. And it's a four four row repeat. I'm using a J hook, which is a six millimeter, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh for mine. I just like the size of it. It's it's a decent size right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this entire cake in there. Because I want to use up all the yarn and make it just a big snuggly shawl that I can use when it starts to get chilly outside. Which it's slowly getting here because some of our night time temperatures coming up in the next week or so are gonna be like 58. <laughs> so it's slowly getting there. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I just love it. I've been, I've been, it's nice to work on something different. So I've been enjoying working on this. I haven't made a shawl in forever. I don't even remember the last time I made a shawl. Uh, so this is nice. 
I should be working on my sweater, and I'll talk about that on Saturday's video. I worked on it. But, uh, but I've already got an idea for another cardigan that I want to start, so I might be starting that soon. I am ready to move on and start some new projects. I feel like those witches have been taking forever because they're more detailed than most of the ambergrimis that I made for Halloween this year. So I still got to do three for September and October. I'm going to try to pick like super easy ones just so I can get them done fairly quickly. <laughs> and I have been working on some other things, but I'll show those um, sometime this weekend in like the No Catch Name episode. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's what I have been working on today. I just barely worked a little bit on the shawl and that uh, witch. <laughs> I need to get her done. But uh, it doesn't really take that long if you just sit down and do it. It's just I get interrupted a lot by my kids. <laughs> so it's hard for me to just sit down and do it. But I'm looking forward to getting some of this stuff done and moving on to new projects. Because I feel like I've been working on the same things <laughs> for the last month. And I'm just ready to do something else. And I'm about to start some Christmas things. <laughs> um, I realize it's just now Halloween season. But uh, there's some Christmas decoration type things that I want to make. And ornaments for my family and stuff like that. So I need to um, get started on that because once actual Christmas season gets here, I'm going to be busy <laughs> doing things, you know, with the family. So I don't want to be crocheting a lot uh, at that time. But anyways, that's what I'm working on. So let me know down below what you guys are working on and feel free to share any links and stuff like that. And let me know what you made for dinner <laughs> tonight or what you're going to make for dinner. I made just some sausage and potatoes. Uh, it was a kielbasa and potatoes. I had a kibble so that I needed to use up. I'm pulling out stitches. I need to fix it up. And um, it was good. We liked it a lot. <laughs> I also made just some random corn on cobs that we had in the freezer that I needed to use up. So trying to, you know, tomorrow's grocery day for us. I'm trying to, you know, get things ready. I went through the fridge earlier, or was it today? Yesterday. And getting rid of things that were either old or um, wasn't getting eaten and stuff. So getting ready for grocery shopping tomorrow. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye, guys.